Aha! This is Laborde. And it is so nice to have you here. These are the pants you need. By the way, guys, this is not a pajama, this is a nice shirt. Okay? I primed the angels using Valeo's grey primer. Any one of you know why are those uh, primers smell so nice? Like something fruity. It's so good. Anyway, our first layer is Basilicanum Grey for the robes. You can apply this contrast paint bravely and let it pull into the crevices. One heavy coat will be fine for this, but we are not waiting for this layer to dry. We are speed painting, so we go to the next section, which is the wings. Cover all of the wing surface with dark coat flesh. Let the paint sink in between the feathers. This brown will be great for the bony parts of the wing and great for our shadows on the feathers. Don't let it pull heavily, work it around, but cover all the surfaces. Contrast paints are basically washes, so it will stain the mini if you apply it in sections. Try to be as neat as possible and don't stain the skin of the angel. If you do stain the skin, like uh, Papa Labors did, then just fix it with some white grey. Then I will slap on your tiny hand. Then you can slap on my hand. But only this one time. Okay? Okay. Now we are speedrunning this angel guy. Cover all the skin with Gulliman flesh. Let it flow nicely into the crevices, but don't apply too much of it. You thought we were gonna wait for this paint to dry, huh? Well, you couldn't be more wrong and even the thought is insulting to Papa Laborts. Dry brush the wings with screaming school. Wipe off your brush on a paper towel using a circular motion. Then apply a gentle strokes like you would comb Granny's hair. Cover all the feathers, but seriously, don't apply too much pressure because it will ruin our recess shading. You can hit the bony parts with your dry brush, it will create a nice highlight for those sections too. Now with white, highlight the top part of the wings so we will have some nice contrast there. Try not to hit the bones this time. The end result won't be super clean, but it will look nice and we are sacrificing looks a bit on the altar of speed. Gentle strokes with the dry brush. If I found out you guys applied unnecessary force to the dry brush, I will go to your house and slap on your tiny hands and lock your dry brushes away. No joke. We go back to our skin and fix the parts where Gulliman and Flesh created stains that we don't need. Light is coming from above, so place the highlights accordingly. Use a thin coat of paint so Kislev Flesh can blend in easily like it was always part of the skin. Place these highlights on the chest and shoulders and the upper part of the abdomen. Don't worry about the hands, that doesn't need fixing just yet. Alrighty! Mix some white flesh to the Kislev flesh and increase the brightness of our highlights. I mix in some white because I want our angels to be pale. Decrease the highlight areas gradually and use a thin layer consistency. As you see, we have nice contrast thanks to our recess shading, so don't paint over the recesses to keep it that way. Now to increase our light values, we add some ice yellow to the skin, really small areas. Use thin layer consistency so it will blend more easily. Guys, did you realize? We didn't glaze so far. Is Papa Laborts is sick? No, Papa Laborts is fine. But we are painting with thin layers, which is kind of glazing, you know. Everything is glazing, and glazing is life. Okay, now increase the depth of our shadows with some nicely diluted purple ink. Glaze it over the shadowy parts and mid-tones. Use it with moderation, so it will create a nice hue that will look very nice on the skin. Let's go back to the robes. As you see, Basilicanum Grey sat nicely in the crevices and we could call the robes done because there are some nicely muted highlights, but Papa Laborts wanted to create the effect like the robes are nicely detailed and we spent like 2 hours on them. We glaze Mechanicus Standard Grey over the robes. This will smooth out the whole thing so nicely. Same brush motion every time and focus your efforts on the front of the mini. 
Now add some white gray to your glaze and start to pick out some folds that are close to the torso. If you use a heavy glaze consistency, this will blend in on its own. Apply multiple layers to increase the opacity and have a smooth finish. See how the robes look? I think it's very nice, but let me know in the comments. Add some more white gray to the mechanical standard gray and pick out even smaller and smaller areas. Same consistency as before and same brush motion. Just increase the contrast next to the torso and if you do it right, the rest of the robes will look better too. That's the funny thing about it. Now it looks super nice and it only took like 7 minutes to do that. Not only that, but our robes read as black. It reads black because the majority of our robe is black and we only highlighted around 50% of the surface. Like it? I like the video too. The sword is super simple. I used gunmetal for the blade and greedy gourd for the pummel and the crossguard. Once the metal is dried, apply a thin coat of null oil and then highlight the blade with plate mail, but only the top section and then edge highlight it with shining silver. Angle your brush when you are doing edge highlight and do not apply any pressure. Apply two coats of null oil and try to feather it out around the wrist because on the concept art, they are black and dirty. Like they were looking for something inside Granny's stoma bag. Now the cyberpunk mask of the angel, cover the whole thing black. Use a base layer consistency, so your paint won't be too runny and it won't ruin the skin or the hair. This is an interesting process. Basically, all these triangle shapes that face down, you leave them black. The rest of it can be mechanical standard grey, but it's important to leave some black anyway, because those will be a different shade of grey. Add a bit more white grey to the mixture and paint the brightest parts. I use this color to the parts that almost have a 90 degree angle, so the light would definitely hit them more. <laughs> Lastly, edge highlight with pure white grey. This will increase the effect that these masks are very reflective and shiny. Use a base layer consistency and the side of your brush. Do not apply pressure when you are doing edge highlight, otherwise I will slap on your tiny hand. Apply some highlight on the hands using mechanical standard grey and white grey mixture in base layer consistency. Lastly, I glazed in some highlights on the bones to increase the definition. This is a heavy glaze consistency and I'm only painting the parts where light would catch the surface of the bones. Obviously you can skip this part if you are happy with the wings as it is, but it's not much work and I think it will improve the looks quite a bit. Then I paint the hair with Zamesi Desert to have a nice blonde angel. Don't hit the crevices with the paint, those brown shadows are great for the blonde hair. Then I highlight some sections with Ushapti bone with a heavy glaze and then add some ivory to the same areas with the same consistency. Paint the sword grip with Evil Sun Scarlet and use that for the trinkets rope. Paint the little trinket with greedy gold and give it a wash of Nuln oil. Ok, this angels like the rest of the mob in Massive Darkness 2 has a leader. It's all the same steps for him too, except for his stone tablet. Highlight it with the same colors as we did with the robes and the mask, but create diagonal sections on it, so it will look like the box art. And there you go guys, the fallen angels are done. They took like 30 to 40 minutes to finish one, which uh, I think it's uh, quite fast, and they look quite nice. Thank you for joining me on this little painting adventure. And guys, if you followed any of my tutorials, please send the result to me, like this gentleman did. A huge thanks to my patrons, who choose to support these kind of videos, with a special shout out to Dominic Reitman!
If you want to support Papa Laborce's work, you can do that on Patreon, where you can vote on the next mini, and you will have early access to these videos. Now, I hope the rest of your day will be as smooth as a granny's butt cheek. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel.